Good morning. Welcome to SunUp. I'm Austin Moore. A wheat harvest is almost here and we thought we'd take a little time this morning to look at harvesters and what you need to get those ready. With anything ag mechanical, of course, Wayne Kiner is here. Wayne, let's talk about this header. What are you working on this morning? Okay, first of all, I'm going to look at the reel. It's the, the furthest mo point out from the machine. It's the first thing that the wheat comes into. And I'm just checking to make sure that the fasteners are all good tight and these, uh, these slats are in good condition. Right, and some of these aren't. And we've got a few yeah, back here are broken. Yeah, need to replace down here. All right, that's a pretty easy fix. Right. And you, so beyond that, we'll, uh, we look at our sickle. Mm -hmm. uh, right down here, I've got a, a wear plate. And now, these... Now, what's the function of the wear plate? The, this sits behind the sickle, and the sickle is cycling back and forth. And uh, underneath the sickle, there's a, a bar, and that rides along there. And the, this takes the wear instead of the machine, and so these are replaceable That's, items. That movement's going to hurt something. You might as well have it hurt the small right. piece. Right. Have, it, have it be a, uh, something you can replace. Okay. Then I'm going to look at my sickle sections and uh, make sure they're in good condition all the way down the bar and make sure that there aren't any chips, uh, make sure that they're in good condition. Mm -hmm. If I need to replace any of those, why they can be replaced individually. You don't have to replace the whole bar, obviously. Right. And then I'm going to look at the guards and make sure that they're all straight and in good shape as well. Okay. Um, we also want to make sure that, that this sickle is timed properly. Now, what do you mean by timed? Okay, when this thing is cutting wheat mm -hmm. or grain, some cereal grain, this sickle is moving back and forth. Right. And if you want to rotate that for me, Austin. Sure. You'll see that the sickle comes to the center of that guard and in back and it goes to the center of this guard, that's timed properly. And okay. so we're getting uh, the total cut of that, that sickle. You just want to make sure that it's, it's not going halfway there, that it's going right. to make a full cut each sweep. Yeah, okay. it wouldn't be even cutting if it just went partial way. All right. It'd leave, be leaving grain in the field. All right. Now, as we move around to the side here, of course, we've got some, uh, some belts, some springs, some other parts here need adjustment. What are we going to be looking at here? Okay, every combine is going to be different. You, mm -hmm. need, you need to look at your operator's manual to right. see what adjustments need to be made in this area. But you do want to make sure that, that, especially in this sickle area, everything's tight. For example, all the ball joints are tight. Anything that's loose on this thing that's oscillating back and forth will s s tend to be exaggerated and downstream and fatigue and break. So, check so you don't all want this. any play in the parts at all? No, okay. none at all. Uh, what else here? Okay, we've got a we've got a bad sprocket and chain right here. Mm -hmm. Actually, two sprockets. Okay. You see here, you can Austin. It, these are sharpened and hooked really bad, and some yeah. of the teeth are almost gone on that sprocket. Absolutely. So we're going to have to replace both of these and, and the chain as well at the same time. And now, what causes all this to happen? Well, um, on this particular instance, this is what's driving the sickle, and so the sickle's having to change directions all the time. And so this is taking a, a beating and wearing out the chain. Mm -hmm. Now on proper on our normal use, why they'll hook just over time from chain wear and just from time. Okay. But this is uh, this one right here will will be will prematurely wear because of all that oscillation that takes place. So of course we, we've cut it. It's going to sweep sweep down here to the middle yeah. as it moves back to the combine. What are we looking for in this area? Okay. When it when the grain's coming down on the conveyor, you can mm -hmm. see that there's these plates on the back. They're stripper plates. These aren't adjustable, right. but uh, there are adjustable ones on some machines. We want to check those to make sure they're in good shape and up close to the conveyor. And then we want to check the condition of our, our conveyor itself. Uh, of course, the fingers and the guides. And then the pan, we have a rested out section right. in the pan. And we also have a rusted out section in our in our conveyor, but we can repair those and, and uh, get this thing back going again. Well, and so that's something we want to look at, other than the rusted out areas, the rest of this rust isn't really a problem. No, no, this will shine up in just a couple of days of harvesting. Okay. Now, anything else is we're, we're making that transition from here into the, the combine itself? Right, this goes right in the feeder house, and so we do have a transition, and so we have to have, make sure we have a good uh, seal between the header and the Right. And the machine, and we okay. do that right here. If we got any gap here, we could be, have a grain loss problem. So we want to check and make sure we've got a good fit up there. 
All right, I guess we need to go take a look at the combine itself now. Uh, that's where all the work will be done after this point. All right, well, Randy's down there waiting for you right now, Austin, so All it's right. a pleasure visiting you. Absolutely, Wayne, thank you. It's a good start today. Thank you.